the conflict resolution or how to avoid conflict with other people, which is a typical problem of everybody. The reason for conflict is because people come from different places, different environments, and they bring with them attitudes which they picked up there. So merely commanding another person, saying to another person, you ought not to think the way you think, does not alter the behavior. So if you really want to get along with people, only when they say to you, what's the best way to put the shovel into the ground? Use your foot, it's easier. But if they don't ask you, let it go. Uh, the best way to avoid conflict is not to superimpose your values, even though they're better than the other person's values. Like, uh, Roxanne may like cats. I don't like cats in the house because they, uh, I feel that they're dirty and all that. But anyway, the question is, how much do I like Roxanne? You know what I mean? If she doesn't mean that much to me, I say the cats go or I'll go. All right. When you deal with people, whatever their views are, unless they say to you, what do you think of my views, then you can give your opinion. Like uh, sometimes uh, Joel may feel that his boss is not correct in his values. If you were to confront him with saner values, he would not understand it. He would resent it too because it's a put down. Do you know what I mean? So when you meet people, they tell you what their values are by the way they speak, the way they talk about different things. Unless they say to you, what do you think of my values? Then you open up. Well, what do you think of the way I use a paintbrush? If they say to you, that's no way to use a paintbrush, that doesn't tell you how. You wipe it on the can or whatever it is, you can tell them. Very few people, unless they're going to school to study aviation mechanics, they go there to learn what this guy has to say. But if one of the students tell them something, they would feel put down. If the student says, well, you, what you don't understand is the mechanics of a piston engine. That's a put down because the student is telling that. If the instructor told him that, he went there to study plumbing or art or music. So you listen to an instructor. You're there to learn what they have to tell you. But when you meet ordinary people, if Roxanne says is working in something, and it's very important to her, and it's a phone call, which detracts her away from that, and she may go back and not continue along the lines. But if you say, hey, you should continue along the lines you're working at. Uh, unless she says, Christ, I've, I'm terribly disorganized. What do you suggest I do? Then you write one, two, three, four, five. And she says, I don't like four and five. But don't argue with her. If she says, I'm not sure of four and five, then you can instruct her. The language tells you whether you want a person wants to hear more or no more. Anything you say is a put down to normal people. If it improves, if it's overseeing, overseeing the other person's shortcomings. If another person has shortcomings, you work with those shortcomings unless they say, how are you able to accomplish four films a day? and I can only do one. Then you can say, because you clean out, you bake the oven, and then you water the lawn, then you go back to your job. You have to stay with each system. Do you understand what I mean? If you get out to do a bridge, and in the meantime you water the roses and trim trees, a lot of things remain half done. I don't say you do that. But if, if you walk over to Larry and say, don't do it that way, do it this way. You're superimposing your values. They may be right, but you don't superimpose unless they ask you. So conflict occurs when a person doesn't seek your advice and you advise them. It doesn't always occur, but it will. 
So the way to get along with people is to let them be what they are, unless they say, I don't seem to get along with Polacks, what's my problem? Very few people do that. Very few people, in fact, I've never run into a person and said, what do you think of my value system? What do you think of the way I think? If they do that, and it's sincere, not an ego thing, where they appear to be polite. Uh, and if a person annoys you in some way, just say, I don't like to discuss races. I mean, if you want to be a racist, okay, I'm not interested in that. And he said, well, well how come you don't see niggas as I see them? You can explain. But if he says, well, God damn it, that's the way I feel. Let him talk or, or discharge him if you hired him. You don't want to hear that. We hired a guy. There was a black man up on a pole working on an antenna. And the guy says, I need some rope. He says, tie it around your neck. If you fall, you'll hang yourself. You know, he thought that was appropriate for the black guy. We never hired him again because he was too low grade. To undo that, you have to undo his whole life. And either you hire a guy to put up an antenna, or you work on his whole life. Your question is, how different is the person's background than yours? And does the person seek information? And if they did, don't feel like you're instructing them. If you come over and say, Larry, that's no way to use a uh, uh, paint remover. Best thing to do is say, I used to do it that way, then I've, some other guy told me another way. They don't like personal criticism coming from you. I don't get involved in that kind of discussion because it can't go anywhere unless the person says, what do you think of the goddamn Mexicans coming in this country? I think the same way about the law unloyal Americans that don't appreciate this country instead of attacking the Spanish people. Say, I find Americans, some of them, to be very offensive and some to be okay. But you need not get on to the Spaniards because he has a fixed view of Spaniards. You say there are plenty of Americans that are subversive. He would agree with you as a rule. If he says, well, I don't never found an American, then, then get off. If he doesn't want to discuss it, if he feels satisfied with his point of view, the main thing you have to keep in mind is that other people come from different places and they see the same thing you see, but their interpretation is different. Unless they call for answers. What do you think I want to do? If a person has a short memory, make notes. You tell them that once or twice, but not continuously, if they don't apply it. Do you understand? You give people instructions, if they apply it, give them further instructions. If they don't apply it, it means it's just a verbal pastime. What do you suggest I do? My wife likes cats and I like dogs. You have to come up with some story. Let her have her cats if she lets you have your dogs. So in working with conflict, you do it once or twice. You say, it seems to me if you held the drill this way, and first it would work better. And that's what I found. But if a person doesn't ask you and they're busy drilling and they don't oh, want your fucking advice, you tend to your computer, I'll tend to my drilling. You know, sometimes people don't want advice, they feel they're being put down. So stop giving one another advice, that produces antagonism unless they ask for it. Now, is this an absolute formula? It's a better way of dealing with people because you can turn them around by pointing out that the trouble with you is you don't listen to anybody. That doesn't cause them to now listen. They'll go on with their same pattern unless they say to you, am I inattentive? What do I appear inattentive? Very few people talk like that. That's what sane means. Sane means when a person comes over to you and says, I'm not familiar with the jigsaw, how to use it. 
and you instruct them. If they come over every day and say, I don't know how to use a jigsaw, watch them and guide them through it. Does that make sense? Do you have any attitudes now about different people that think differently than you do? They think differently than you do, period. Making a comment that you're dim-witted or slow, the trouble with you is you have no imagination. That doesn't alter behavior. It only increases conflict. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if a person's a very good painter of roses, and you like roses, then you associate with him for that reason. But he says, if you ask me, all the Irish ought to be sent back to Ireland, say, uh, well, I'm not that, I don't feel that way about the Irish, so I'd rather not discuss it. I think there are Swedes that behave badly, and some Swedes that behave well, you can say that. He might understand that, but I appreciate your comments. Don't wipe them out. You're a racist. You know, don't wipe them out.